Welcome to Bedtime Stories. Today's story is called A Salty Surprise. Briar Rose picked up a large basket and stepped out of the door. It was a beautiful afternoon and she couldn't help but sing a little song as she headed into the forest. Rose had spent many afternoons in the forest and knew exactly where the cherry trees grew. She put her basket down by her favorite tree and began to fill it with juicy cherries. A pair of blue birds came and landed on her shoulder while she picked Soon the basket was heavy with fruit. That should be more than enough for a pie, she told the bluebirds. She was going to bake her aunt a surprise pudding. Still humming to herself, Rose carried the cherries back to the cottage. Rose put down the basket and looked around the cozy kitchen. She felt nervous. She had never baked a pie by herself. She wasn't even sure where to find all the ingredients. It can't be that hard to find butter, flour and sugar, she assured herself. Taking a deep breath, Rose searched the cupboards. Then she set to work cutting the butter into the floor of the crust. After adding cold water, she gently patted the dog into a bowl. And now for the tricky part, she said to the bluebirds who had followed her home. Rose put the dog on the worktop and began to roll it up. Soon it was a large, flat circle. Here we go, Rose said as she folded it in half and lifted it into the pie tin. After unfolding it, she crimped the edges. It looked perfect. And now for the fillings, Rose said. She washed the cherries and pitted them. Then she mixed in some spice and sprinkled on spoonful of the coarse white sugar. The pie was just coming out of the oven when her aunts tumbled through the doors. What is that delicious smell, dear? Flora asked as she took off her pointed hat. Rose beamed. It's a cherry pie, she said. I baked it myself. Fauna clapped her hands together. How wonderful! After dinner, Rose cut four nice-sized pieces of pie. Smiling, everyone dug in. But their smiles soon turned to severe puckers. Then Rose burst into tears. Salt! She cried. I used salt instead of sugar! There, there, dear, Flora consoled her. I once made the same mistake with an entire batch of fruit cakes, twenty cakes. And it took a while before everyone would touch my cooking again. But they got over it eventually. Rose wiped her tears as Merryweather began to giggle. I remember that, 
she said. Rose smiled, then giggled too. After all, she had ruined only one pie. The end. Thank you for watching my videos. Please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon.